Your iPad? Yeah. Oh. Hi. There we go. Let's see if I can do this now. Uh, we'll see. Okay. So, I do have a mess, but I am organized <laughs> in my own sick way. You know what I mean? Okay, so, <laughs> okay, here's what I got to show you. <laughs> We're going to decoupage today. going to use all the goop either so what I do is I coffee stain all my junk right everything under the sun and then I just put it in a box and sometimes I decorate up my boxes in this case I put a little apron on the front because it's cute like this it's kind of cute but anyways I got my envelopes and the coffee filters and the, you know time cards and you know all the stuff and papers and cards and you know just file fault just everything you know just everything is coffee stained is in here so hey all my little things everything so i put in here and when i get the decoupage itch or you know i just need anything coffee stained and well here it is so i just wanted to show you that even though i always look messy i do have an organization of some kind. <laughs> hi guys. Let me see who's here. I'm up here looking now. I don't see anybody talking, but hi. <laughs> okay, so. So, what I got going is this. I pulled out. I just need to decoupage some stuff. You know what I mean? So, I pulled out stuff that I want to decoupage. And I pulled out the napkins I want to use. I got Rolodex, I got coin envelopes, I got seed packets, I got bags, I got coffee filters, I got tickets, I got maps, I got library cards, I got bingo cards, I got glassine bags, I got some extra tags, more tickets, Rolodex, bags, and here's the napkins, okay. So I got a pile of stuff, you know, right? Okay. So first things first, first things first, my dears. Okay. Dry decoupage. If you are not friends with Mod Podge <laughs> or anything else, because it's a pain in the butt. And goops all over. Never fear. Glue stick is here. <laughs> okay. Okay, so. First of all. If you need some napkins, I just put a bunch of stuff in my shop. Um, You know, extra one, you know. I get a lot of napkins. I buy a lot of them and I get a lot of them in racks. And so I put up some extra sets. I put up some fall sets. I put up, you know, I forgot 4th of July, <laughs> but, but I have Christmas sets like I'm going to do too, you know, so I just get a lot of napkins through the time here. You know how that goes. Okay. So if you need some napkins, I listed a bunch of sets just now. So they're up. And then also if you don't have any stuff, any of this stuff, I made up some packs for you. Not There's not too many, but there's some. So if you don't have any and you need some, the little packs come in a vintage ads bag, which is awesome for decoupage, so you can use that. Um, the packs also come with this new item from my store. I'm excited. Look how big. Huge, big, big, big sheets of vintage tissue paper. Look at it. I love it. So this is sold separately, or you get one sheet in the decoupage packs. But I love that. 
that's just new today. All right. So it comes in a pack like this. So you get this and that tissue paper, which is awesome to get you going. Because sometimes you don't always want florals either, you know. So you get, these are extra large Rolodex. So you get three of those, which I love. So you get three Rolodex. Uh, this is a one-sided file folder. It's really thick. It's cool. And then you get some cool wired manilas. I think there's six. Yep, you get six of those. These are neat. I like to wrap them around my finger and coil them up. Sometimes I put beads on them or, you know, whatever. Just figure out something fun or take it off, whatever. It's good to wrap boho beads in too, so. And then there's a couple different kinds and colors of coin envelopes. Three of the smaller, darker, and two of the manila kind. Right? And then, these I'm excited about. I haven't had these before. So I just pulled them out today and I put a dozen. And they're little envelopes with a window, which I'm excited. I love that. And they are about... We get 12 of those. And well, four and a half by three. Perfect size. I can't wait. So you get 12 of those. And then I put in some of the CD cases. And they have windows too, which is super fun. And you get six of those. So you get all these and the tissue paper and the bag to get you going on your decoupage, decoupage dreams, right? If you need that. And the link's in the description there. Okay. Okay, so here's what you do. Now. Personally, first of all, if I'm going to do bingo cards, which when I do something like this, let's see, I want black, so that would look good with the black background, so we'll try that, or this one would look good because it's got black on it too. Actually, this one would do. Any of these would look good, so it don't rightly matter. This is the one I'm doing next, so maybe I'll use this one. Let's try it. If you're new and you have trouble getting the napkin off your back, use some tape and stick it on there and pull it right off. In the next layer, you can do the same thing. Pull it right up. Comes right off with that piece of tape. It works really good. Now, some of the girls use the second layer because it does have ink on it. It's very light. And I've seen some people use this layer too. It's very faint and pretty, but I don't know if I'm going to do it or not. And then what I like to do is to give it a variation. And I always try to make it look like it was a mistake. I'm not going to cover the whole thing. This is just how I do it. But you could certainly cover the whole thing. Now you can do it flat with no wrinkles and be all like that or you can have the wrinkles personally i like the wrinkles and i crunch my napkin right up as small as you can get it i like lots of wrinkles and texture and ink okay so you cannot ink after you mod podge you can't ink anything so how in the heck are you going to get any dimension if you put all the goop all over it that everybody does right so here's what I do. Here's what I do. So I am just want to look like it's a mistake. And I just want some to go across the top. And maybe a little pieces down like this. 
and I'll kind of lay it on there kind of crunchy like because I want the bumps myself. I like the bumps. So we just kind of kind of just pat pat right and then I just rip it off I get rid of this big part and then this part I just kind of let's rip this off this part and I can still sew around this because the sewing machine doesn't mind this glue stick you can go right in now and sew it don't matter that's another reason why I like using it like this okay now the bottom part to get it how I like it because just to stay on the glue I just rip it I'm not really very gentle or easy with it I just kind of pull and where it's gonna rip it's gonna rip I just do it like that and then we'll do a little little piece on the bottom just to give it another little zhuzh and then I just rip it off in kind of a haphazard kind of way there see so let's just do a couple of these because this is pretty these will be pretty right now I can just use these pieces, whatever they are, and I just stick them around. I don't even... really have a way. But some of it, you know, you just kind of want to stick it around and... I like to just make it look accidental. That's just how I do it. I don't know. But everybody has their own way, you know. And then I think I'm just going to put this right all along the edge just for kicks. Now I'll show you in a second here. How these are going to be. I got two more. And you can even go over the top with it. It's okay. It'll stick down. You can go over the top on the edges. If the edges are lifting, you can just go right over. Because this dries clear. It's no big deal. You know, it's all right. Just get it on there. And then, uh, I like this napkin. It's really pretty. Somebody sent it to me. So we'll do something right in the middle of this one. So we get a little variation. We'll just... Tap, tap, and rip, rip, pull, and rip. However it rips, just let it do what it wants to do. That's how I do it. And then you get good texture and stuff, and I'll show you now. Now, had I been using Mod Podge or Matte Medium or something, I, how can you ink? Can't ink anything, right? Okay, so somebody who has um, is using a different kind of paper, I just want to mention that now, if you want to spray anything on here, I would spray now. Because then it'll be on the inside, and then when you put your ink on, you'll get the dimension, the dark on the top, and you'll have the light underneath, or the sparkle, or whatever it is. So any sprays, I would spray it right now. And then, let's do this one up the side. With all these little scrappies. And we'll just set it in here. Okay. Now, and go over the edge. Some of it I do. Okay. Okay. 
Ooh, this is pretty. I like this napkin. All right. These are still wet, so I'll do these now. Okay, now... Might still be a little too wet, but I'll try it. Okay, now you take your ink. This is dark, I got ground espresso. Somebody's at my door. I hear my husband talking. Okay, this is kinda wet, so I'm just gonna go on the edge for a minute here and let it dry little bit and you can still sew on here too which I should do right now while it's drying in fact I will just to show you don't hurt the sewing machine any and it's fast don't take me a second here so we get the full effect if you want to put coffee paper on the back, you know, now's the time, but I mean, we can write on the cardboard, so I'm good with leaving it. Or you could put book page and gesso too. So I'm gonna sew real quick. cute and then once it gets a little drier you can just lightly go over the top of your wrinkles so that you pick up some of the wrinkles <laughs> it looks good that way Right? And you can stamp over it. You can't stamp on Mod Podge. So that's stupid, right? This is black soot, Tim Holtz black soot. Distress ink. I have several different script stamps in the shop. This is not one of them, but who's here, babe? Nice, see, script. There we go. Look at that. Look how cute. See? Now, this is just base work. I'm just getting the base work done. I'm not gonna decorate. We're just dry decoupaging just to show you how it all works. And when you get the ink over top of these wrinkles, it really, really looks good. I'm telling you. And then, if you want a wet decoupage, now you put your matte medium or your Mod Podge over the top now that you got your ink and everything dry. Right? And you got it sewed and everything's done. Personally, I like to put Mod Podge over the threads. I got a thing about it. I don't know why, but I just like to do that. <laughs> so I always sew before I do all that glue. And then I put the Mod Podge on last. If you want that shine, you know. But if you don't want to shine, then this one's going to be cool. And then I can script stamp on the corner here. Or whatever. That's just how I like to do it. Put some there and maybe a little right here. 
Yep. Then I'll run my sewing machine around it. I'll leave these two for an, for later and I'll move on to something else. I just want to give you the idea here. <coughs> I'll show you guys what it looks like in a journal on a page if you want. Um, there it is. I'll lift it up here and show you. As I know I'm kind of far away. Hi guys. Hi. Gee, there's lots of you guys here. Hi. Look how cute these are. Aren't these pretty? Now look. Now you can put your, you know, whatever ons so you could put and I'll show you let's just see <laughs> let's just see what I got what do I got sitting here I have so much crap now when you want something that's why I wasn't going to embellish but you could just put something on here and a Tim Holtz person and some cheesecloth and whatever whatever and you know you get it you'd have your thing okay so we got those two and that's pretty just the way it is. Now, I know you're going to say, oh, it's going to rip, it's going to rip, but... And sometimes it does. You know, but it's shaggy and raggy and... And, hi, Linda. You know, kind of cute. So let me show you. Do you guys want to see it on a page in a book? Let me get it. Sorry, I didn't realize it was, I didn't think about it until, so who taught me this? You guys know who Sagita is, right? Sagita does it like this. Sagita Coffee Stains on YouTube. She posts in my group too. This is her book. It's gorgeously beautiful and she does the dry decoupage. And when I first started, it blew me away because she is amazing. Her books are amazing and I always looked for inspiration from my love, Sakita. Let's see. Let's see if we can find one. Here's one. Dry decoupage rose in the back. And she put a little sticker thing. You know how she does. And her little trim and her little bling. And that is... Um, yeah. Oh, thanks, Elaine. Yeah, Sakita, I love her, you know. And I told my mom when my mom first started, too, I said, you have got to watch Sagita. And she's so, she's from my home country. Well, I'm from Lithuania, and she's pretty close by. <laughs> so I love her accent because it sounds like my mom's grandparents, or my mom's parents, my grandparents, you know. So it's kind of fun when I listen to her talk. Here's another one. Dry decoupage on a page. Isn't that beautiful? Sometimes I have this napkin in my shop, too. And it's dry, and it's not going to rip. Or anything and it looks beautiful so we don't always have to have the Mod Podge on the top or any kind of anything this is just glue stick it's all that is and it looks gorgeous and you can still write over it once it dries right look at Sagita's beautiful work that's that paper from France she just does such pretty stuff I love the little edges and she, this was her first little French knot she embroidered for me. <laughs> Let's see if she's got any more decoupage in here. Her little slip. I hate washi tape. It never sticks. Here's another part. Dry decoupage. It looks beautiful. See? So now I'm just doing it on stuff. So I do it both ways. Because sometimes I put the matte mediums over and sometimes I don't. It just depends what I'm going to put on top. Right? And um, even these tickets are fun to use your scraps of napkins on. I make little ticket books 
Got a video on that just the other day. I love them. They're so fun. And I just simply do this. And it works out so good. <laughs> it's so fun. And they look so cute when you're done. And again, I make sure it's scrunched a little bit so you got some texture and you just lay it on. That's all you do. Yeah, it's so fun to watch all the girls, you know. And I could never decide what style I wanted, so I just picked them all. <laughs> I just do them all. <laughs> I could never decide what what kind of genre I wanted to do. <laughs> and I'm Sagittarius, so I'm kind of like that anyways. I kind of like to do it all, you know, so... So I don't really have a way. It's like Sagita does it like this. My mom does it like that. You know where to go when you want to see what you want to see. You know what I mean. But me, it's kind of tough because you never know what the heck I'm going to be doing. I don't ever do the same thing. So I pull this off. I pull the edges off so that we got some ticket showing a lot of times. Right. And I do rip them, too, because I want to ink. Or you could, you know, make the little books. Remember how we were making the little books? But I'm going to rip this one and show you how they look when they're done. Because they're cute. Cute little tickets. And then I script stamp these, too. Like that. Probably too dark on this one, but you know, it don't matter. And then you do the edges. These I actually like to put some something on. Sometimes, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I'll show you some I got done right here. And now you got the cute little tickets to go with, see? And I got all my tickets right here. Let me see if I can find it. Any. I have lots of tickets in my shop for sale. Big packs of them. Plus I have the white ones so you can stamp, you know, different stuff on. I'm just looking to see if I got any finished ones sitting here. Oh, that would be so lucky if I did. But you know how it goes. That would be a big fat no. But anyway, you can put stuff on these. It's kind of cute like that. Or you can do the whole strip and then make your little, make your little books like we were making, your little ticket books. So we could do tickets. And these I will just put in here because I like my little tickets right there. And then we got some Rolodex. And I do the Rolodex the same way. I'm going to just use up this napkin because I, this is just how I do it. So let's put some on the bottom and almost cover this whole one just for kicks. Let's do it like that this time. Use some of it up and I just pat, pat, pat like that. Then I'll flip it over and rip it. Whichever way it wants to rip. I'll just pull, kind of let it do what it wants to. And this is a Rolodex, so I'm going to rip it down here and let it get all kind of funny. And then we can script. Like I said, I have these packs in the shop. If you need some of these Rolodex. Um, I did it in the beginning of the video. I showed you all the stuff I got in the shop to decoupage. Ooh, this one looks good. Ooh, I like that. I need a little more glue right here. Ooh. 
Oh, this is cute. Now you could sew on here if you wanted to, or we could sew a little flip on there, or a little bag to it, or something. What do I got a little bag here? That one's too wide. I have wides in the shop, these glassine. I have wides, and then I have regular. I think I only got wides right here. Let me see. What I got. I got minis too. They would probably fit, but I kind of want a skinny one, but I'm kind of out of. I need to do another round of coffee staining. I've got these little glossine envelopes in the shop too. They're really cute. And these little churro bags. I'm looking for a skinny one. I got all the fatties. Aha! I found it. One. Nice. I got a couple Rolodexes though, so I will look for a couple more. Just to see if I can find any. I only found one. I need to do some more coffee staining, I guess. Well. Guess that's all I got. Ooh, I got one more. Okay, I'll just do two Rolodex. Oh no, that might not be. That's not. Eh, I got so many different sizes. That one will go on the back of the bingo card, though. This is cute. I love this. I was thinking if we sewed this on the back, then we'd have a cute stuffy with the sack on the back. With the sack on the back. And we could decoupage the bag, too. Going crooked. I don't know why. What the heck? I got it on there crooked. I guess because I'm trying to hurry, but there we go. I was going to use these for little pockets, but you can use them for stuffies too, because you can decorate the front, journal right here, and then when you coffee stain these, sometimes the glue comes off the back, so you just re-glue it. No big deal, we got it sitting here anyways. And then we could put something here so you could write here, but we could decorate here too. Put a tag in, another spot to write. So let's see. Let's put some script on here. Look at that, see? And then do we want matching? Matching here, we'll just put a little piece on. How about that? I should have scripted after I had it on, huh? That's okay, though. It's all okay. Decoupage is very forgiving. It's okay. It just... I just won't have any over top of the napkin unless I dip in there again and get some on there. There. Now it won't bug me so much. Get a little ink on the wrinkles. Yeah. There. Now we got a cute little cute little thingy. And let's see if I can find one more. Here's one more Rolodex. This time I'll do it on the straight side. And down here. Let's see. Here we go. Pat, pat. A 
rip rip. And then we'll put the cute. And we got this. Oh, I think this one's too big. Yeah, we'll save that for the bingo card. I need to coffee stain up another pack of glassine bags, I guess. And that's wet, so I can't ink now. I gotta let it dry a little. So we'll set that over here. And then we got some, what else? What else? Hey, we got some gray. Would that look good with this color on it? It might look good. Let's try it. We'll put some on the back. Now I showed you Sagita's book and her dry decoupage is very flat so that it won't rip I'm sure is why she does it like that. But I just wanted to give you examples. Some of this I'm sure I'm going to go over with matte medium or something. Some of it I won't. These, if I'm going to use them to open and shut and this and that, I might put decoupage over it just because it's going to be used more you know but if if I'm just going to glue this down say for instance and I'll put my ink on it and sew on it and whatever if I'm going to just glue this down and we're going to just use it for a pocket and I'm not going to be handling this part then you don't really need to put any more glue on the top and it's nice to have different finishes so if you have this is flat with no shine and then you put a tag in it maybe that has some shine on it and then a fabric and then a, a crunchy you know you're mixing all the you know all the all the stuff you know what I mean that is what we're doing we're mixing it all up kind of in a mixed media type of way that's what I try to do anyways And then this side. Oh, we got the neighbors over. Somebody had put lawnmowers out on the side of the road for free. You know how people do. And we walked by and came to the conclusion that this guy just must not know how to fix these because it was really easy. <laughs> so my husband and my neighbor took the two mowers and made, you know, one good one. So now they're out there talking about it, you know. You know, the boys are out there. Sean's birthday is tomorrow, so he's took the rest of the week off, so that's kind of fun. We took a nap together this afternoon. That was fun. Huh, honey? Did he bring you the mower? Yeah. Yeah. Six minutes. Six minutes? Yep. <laughs> well, that poor guy across the street. I feel it's bad just, for him. The same thing with the other guy. I know, but he went and bought a brand new mower, and he had perfectly good ones. <laughs> yeah, he said he might sell the other one. Yeah, April. see? <laughs> but he gave me one since I bought the photo. Well, yeah, you went and got him. But it don't matter because he fixed it for you. Electric start still works even. Yay. So we got to push more for free. I like the electric start. Then I can do it easy. I didn't know that was on the fold, but it is. You only had to pay like 88 cents per person. Wow, that's really cool. Well, we got a beggar then now for nothing, huh? Yeah, he says they don't work the best. That's better than... Yeah. 
They had them set up wrong too, like not even. No. Oh. This doesn't make the big difference. Some people put a weight on the front of it too because it's drive or whatever. Yeah. Well, we'll try it and see. Yeah, when I cut grass, that's what I'm using. You know what works? So far, I'm like, oh, no, do that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah this is cute. Because he's doing that Baker Lake thing. Oh, good. Well, maybe you guys can. Well, he goes on the. Hang out a little August. bit. You I know, I'm doing maybe, a video, right? Sorry. Okay, I'm just telling you. Oh, next year to go camping? Because it's like August, you know, I don't have that time off. Yeah, well, you could put in for it. I like these wrinkles. Come here. It's sticking to me. neighbors are going camping they invited us to go but I can't go sleep on the ground and all that right now this is cute and it's got the window in it you know nice Cute. Cute. I love this. All right, we got some of those. Now, another thing I like to decoupage that is odd is maps. It looks really good. It actually looks really good. I'm going to show you. I don't think we use maps enough. But it looks really good, especially if you have birds, because they're like flying across the map, you know. But I didn't happen to pick, I don't think, a napkin with birds on it, but let's see. But it's really good with bird napkins, just FYI. <laughs> I'm just going to decoupage a piece randomly so that I just have it. Um, let's see. I kind of want some birds on this. Shoot, I think I'm going to have to go get some birds. Hey, will you grab me a napkin with some birds on it? In my plastic bin up there? Yeah. Just any one with birds. That'd be cool. Let's see what else we got here. Did you hear something? Right Thank you, honey. Did you hear something? Yeah. Talking? Yeah. Okay, let's see. I need something with birds here. Let's see. I'm trying. I know. I got a lot of butterflies. As soon as you want one with birds, you can't find it. Otherwise, I have a million birds, but you know how that goes. Okay, let's see here. I'm looking for birds. Here's some birds. Sparrows or something. Yeah, I cannot believe I'm looking for birds and I can't find one. Can you imagine? Butterflies, roses. Butterflies and roses. Here's that napkin Sagita used in my book. I just can't believe it. As many napkins as I have. Ooh, that one's pretty. Let me see. I know because I. Huh. Well, I got a ton of napkins, but birds. I don't have a lot of birds. Look at that. Huh. Well, I just made up a bunch of napkin packs and put them in there. That's probably why I don't have any. Here. Thank you very much. But I do have this. And these have birds, and it looks really cool.
Did he tell you what the flamingo was in their yard? Huh? Did he tell you what that big, huge flamingo was in their yard? No, I didn't ask him. Oh, okay. okay. And then you have some more. Yeah. She seems like she fixes them pretty fast. I thought you went to go get the, both of them for yourself. No, I just wanted one. I didn't care about one. Um, he gave me the better of the two. Right? Okay, so this one, what you we'll do is... The other one, go ahead. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, he fixed it for you, so... Yeah, it didn't take him long. Who knows? So this one, I'm just going to put it on here because it's... that one's good to keep, though, because his parts are really cheap, and they use that motor forever. I'm only going to use pieces of this map it's at a time, a, so... It's about a 400 dollar more, you know. I can't believe that guy just put it out there for free. And, and the starts, the liquor starts still works good. Huh. He probably had just bad gas and fucked up. That's the same shit. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to lay it flat right on here. That's all I'm going to do. So I have a piece of map with birds on it. Decoupaged and in my box ready. You know what I mean? And I like the bumps. I'll just leave it bumpy. There. And this I'll probably put. Oh, maybe I'll even show you. I'll probably put um, something over the top because I do want the map to come through more. So if there's something underneath that is really cool, if you put the Mod Podge especially on the top, it brings up that color. So I probably will do that. But let's put some ink on the wrinkles first. Hey babe, is there a um, paintbrush on the windowsill right there by the sink? Will you bring it to me? Sorry, honey. It's pretty sludgy. It's sludgy? It's we'll just water that evaporated. Would you dump that out? This is water? I'm sick of paint. No, it's just, no, it was glue on there is why it looks like that. No. Thank you. Okay, cool. Okay, now if we put... Depends if we want it shiny or not shiny. What do we want? Shine or no shine? Hmm. Let's go with some shine. How about that? And you got to do your stamping first. Now, see why you use the dry first. I could never do this inking and stamping and all this stuff on here if it was all wet. Most people decoupage. They put the glue down first. Then they put the napkin on the top. And it just, it just doesn't do any good. <laughs> A lot of times. Just put a little bit of script all around in random spots. And then... We'll try some... Mod Podge, even though my video said dry decoupage. <laughs> I found a piece to put some wet on. I like these silicone brushes. I don't use brushes with bristles anymore because I just ruin them all. Because I'm always doing videos and I can't stop in the middle of a video like right now when I'm doing this. I gotta go to the next thing. I can't stop to go wash out all my brushes. And every single time I put a thing of water out here, I spill it. So I'm not doing it. 
So I got silicone brushes and then I just use my baby wipes. Watch when I'm done. <laughs> Unless it gets really goopy, then I put it in some water. See, now I'm not done, and I don't want to get up to go wash my brush. So I just do that, and now I'll get my baby wipes and wipe off the brush, and it's all done. Only I don't have my baby wipes are empty, so now I gotta do this. Good enough for now. And then uh, we'll come back to this. I'll show you when it dries. I'll probably post it in group, huh? But it's going to be really cool because you're going to be able to see the map underneath with all the roads and stuff. And then the birds flying. It's just cool. It's just cool. I'm telling you. And then... Let's try... What else do I got? Oh, I got some... The Romance of Leonardo da Vinci. I got uh, vintage library cards in my shop lots of times. Off and on. You just gotta watch for them. Uh, a lot of times I don't like to cover up all the writing. I just will do some just to so we'll just do it like that. Throw this down and see where it it lands, it lands, right? Kind of like that. You really don't need ink on this. It has a nice color already, just naturally, because it is old. But we'll zhuzh it up a little bit. I'm still using that same napkin, you know. <laughs> For one napkin, you get a lot, a lot of use out of it. There, nice. Look at these. Look at these, you guys. We got it all done, didn't we? Now, the coffee filters. Let's see. Where is that? Just had it in my hand, didn't I? Here it is. I usually use two or three, so it's kind of thick and crunchy and stuff, you know? But I just do the same thing. Wet glue, uh, glue stick, coffee filter, put it down, and sew around the edge. And then you fold it up, and you got a little pocket thingy, right? Same thing. I usually do the whole whole thing on this though. And then rip off the edges. Oh, I forgot to show you one thing that's really cool, too, on these. Ooh, I forgot. I'm going to show you right now. 
another part that's really fun. Let's see if I can get to it under my mess. Let's see. The gilding polish looks really good over it, too. Let me get this sewn, and I'll show you. Try to go as fast as humanly possible. So you do your scripting, right? And you do your ink. I was gonna come out there. Easier. I was gonna come out there. I'm gonna it come and see. For you. Cool, I want to come out. I'll be you out there in just a minute. It, you know, yeah. You probably could almost do it. Yeah. It's pretty fast. Though. It's probably too fast for you. It, it bites. And I'll be out there in a minute. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. Faster than the other one. That's for sure. Way better than the other one. This is cute. All right. Then you go over it light to get the wrinkles. Yeah. Right. And then you put the highlighter on, just like when you do your face, right? <laughs> just like when we do our face. So this gilding polish is gorgeous. My sponge is stupid. And broken. And then the gilding polish. So before you use your gilding polish, I did not read and I just dove in. Wet your sponge, do your gilding polish and then rinse your sponge off. <laughs> and you'll have a nice sponge forever. But not me, I just went dove in and just did it and didn't read nothing and You know how I do. I'll do some on here so you can see a couple different ones. Because I do love the polish. Gives you a little bit of glow. I'll show you. This sponge has had it. Had it. Then I'll show you how to fold the coffee filter. But you know what the... With the glow on, it looks pretty. You see the little glow on there? Isn't that pretty? So you could do this a couple ways. Sometimes I like to fold this like in like this. And you're just going to make a burrito. <laughs> it's just make a burrito. Right? And then you flip it up like this. And sometimes I've seen people so, you know fold this together and then sew it but I don't I glue right here so then you got a pocket here and a little pocket here but I started doing it backwards too because it's kind of fun when the design you can do two different I'll show you I did it inside out one time and it was cool but this ain't working out what did I do I can't remember oh I think I did it like this 
so you could still see the inside. I don't know what I did. I forget now. I'll have to watch my own videos. <laughs> I think I made like a lapel or something so that we could see the inside. What did I do? I can't remember now. I think I did it. I don't know. But you get my idea. I mean, you get the idea. Just figure out how to do it, you know, yourself. Or you can make these into envelopes, too. So I like this way, but you can make them into envelopes, too. You just go like this. See? Make little envelopes like this, and then you glue. And then you got your little flap right there, see? You can do it like that, too. I have a bunch of different kinds, but it just depends what you want to do. But anyway, we got some cute stuff made. Just, you know, the base work. But now we got some stuff to play with. I like it with the glitter out of the gilding polish on, that shine, you know, it's pretty. Right? This one needs some stamping. Pretty. See? Now I gotta do a pile and almost out of this napkin all I got left is just some scraps here so I'll probably move on to another napkin now and see you get a whole pile of stuff for one napkin. It's kind of fun. Then I just put it in a, my decoupage box up here. I got a box then once it's decoupage and I put that in a box so I got a you know, assembly line, you know how I like to do it. <laughs> okay, let's look back at the map and see if that's dry yet. It's not dry yet. But you can see the streets and stuff coming through the birds, so you can see how that's going to look cool. Right? <laughs> I love that piece. So I'll use that for tags and stuff later. And then I still didn't use my new tissue paper, so I'll do that next. So I'll come back, perhaps. Right now, I gotta go out and do the lawn. <laughs> okay, thanks for stopping in, guys. Bye.